Welcome to the King and Candy Show. Hey, what's going on, lovely people? Hopefully you are well and swell. My name is King, and we're about to come at you. We have some exciting, exciting news for you today, as always usual. Hopefully you can gumption it. Oh, man, Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. As you can see, my man Blueface up here, he necessarily doesn't have a blue face, but apparently he's from some kind of crypt thing. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh, man, what is really going on? Right now, today, Krishan Rock buys new wedding dress and marrying Blueface this time. Do you? <laughs> necessarily sure if they should be marrying one another <laughs> well no people what do you think put it down in the comments and please continue to like share and subscribe our content if you like what we're doing ah oh, here we go man we're about to break down what krishan and uh blueface is doing it's it's quite interesting I think it's quite interesting whenever you look at Krishan's face. If you don't know her, she, um, Blueface, has been uh, tailing her along with his uh, career as being a rap star. Yeah. Uh, her, her, she has went above and beyond to, like, kind of be this man's, like, uh, shadow to the point that she actually took a face of Blueface, his face that you see right here, this, this black man, and... Uh, she tattooed it on her throat. <laughs> I don't know about blue face, but I've never seen a lady do something like that. Have you? <laughs> oh, man. What we will do to become somebody's thought. <laughs> it's so, so sad. I was just actually in an interview, seeing an interview that he did with her. And um, unfortunately, she was inebriated. And uh, Blueface sat there, um, not inebriated. He seemed like he was clear thought in mind. But her, on the other hand, she was a little bit tipsy. And she said the wrong thing and actually got into a fight with him. <laughs> I don't know if he thought he was having a Cinderella or did he know he was getting involved in this spring chicken? <laughs> not really sure. But we most definitely know that they uh, seem to be getting married. I think there's hints of a baby coming. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, we can't wait to see what's what's going on down their road. So Krishan says that she got a big, big, big wedding dress coming this day and uh, claps up to her. She's getting married and she already locked down the wedding dress for the special occasion. I wonder if she's marrying Blueface, though. <laughs> He seems to not want anything to do with this lady right now. Uh, but you never know, man. If she'll go as far as tattooing his face on her throat, I mean, <laughs> she might go a little bit further than the average. Oh, Though there may be some serious concerns if she's exchanging vows with Blueface, witnesses tell um, some of these reporters out here in downtown LA, which she was caught because she can't be in the hood anymore. <laughs> ah, that Wednesday afternoon that she was looking for a dress. Um, you know, usually uh, if you're from the urban community down uh, in the Crenshaw area, so to say, we usually go there to go downtown to shop for our, you know, prom dress, homecoming dress. <laughs> She's shopping for a wedding dress. <laughs> It's an L.A. thing, most definitely for you. So ah, that's enough on Mr. Blueface right here. But hopefully everybody else is doing well, man. There's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we don't have this man. This man's uh, name is Trey Nichols. This is going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, people, man, he um, he's 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 closing his eyes for the long road. Uh, but the five cops most definitely were charged with second degree, um, second degree murder. So, um, you know, the, being charged doesn't necessarily mean you're um, that the cops are going to, you know, 
if they're not going to get away with this or anything um, after this beating, unfortunately, you know what I mean? So it seems quite inhumane to actually take somebody's life through the fist, because if you think about it, a gun, you can kind of, um, there's some PTSD that's there, but not as much as when you beat a person to death. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it really takes some some gumption to actually do that. But these five cops that are that are here that have been um, arrested in Memphis, where this unfortunate incident took place, uh, they most definitely are. Um, I guess they're in holding now. Um, it's five cops that are that are in holding. And it's funny, their monk shots look like they're like brothers from the mall or something. Like I can see them. I can see them as passerby, but it's sad to see that, you know, these these normal faces or these faces that are supposed to be protecting everyone. Unfortunately, they nod and it it that fateful night it just happened to take this man's life. First goes out to the Nicholas family as they deal with this ordeal. You know, it's funny to, it's interesting to deal with ordeals like this, not in the public eye, but now that everybody on the planet kind of knows about what's going on here, you know, with law enforcement and the citizens, it's kind of like, it's a risky business out there for, um, for where these, these people are hurting these, these people, you know? It's it's sad. It's sad to see, you know, um, it, it's sad, you know, and one end you need police to come protect you, especially if there's some trifling hooligans down the road. But then to call the same police and then end up getting your life taken, you know, not this incident, but other incidents is sounds pretty good, man. So prayers goes out to the Nicholas family. Hopefully they can find their peace. You know what I mean? Oh man, here's my man here and his and his E and his girl. On a lighter note, Kanye Yi, yeah. He takes wife uh to a Balenciaga shopping spree. No hard feelings. What I thought there was a lot of little drama about Balenciaga. Well, how why are they going on shopping sprees now? You know? I thought they were like into all this like weird kind of like artwork that they were trying to get publicity for it. It backfired on him. <laughs> oh man, that sucks, dude. But he has to, it's funny that, you know, these contracts that you sign with certain people and you have to do certain things. Oh my God. Kind of don't sign the contracts. You don't want to, you know, see in the future. <laughs> You'll be signing to the devil for sure. Joe, man, ye, he just can't quit Balenciaga. That's the same thing I just said, dude. Even though the brand ditched him over his his anti his talk, right? I'm not saying that. Leave that alone. Uh, he took his new wife for some uh, retail therapy, but their trip also ended in a subtale of a Nazi Germany kind of thing. Oh my god. Oh, this is getting real interesting. Ye and his and his new his new lady hit the upscale Beverly Hills clothing store Wednesday night on rodeo. You know, rodeo. <laughs> rodeo. It's funny that that all of these like high expensive stores are on rodeo, and it's like you kind of get ran for a rodeo because <laughs> ultimately, just because you make a road with all these high expensive clothes, it doesn't mean they weren't you know made in china <laughs> so uh you know that was one thing too authentic versus fake fake versus fraud kind of thing and what is authentic just because you know um i don't know it, it was in a different office but in the same country <laughs> yeah Oh, man, they hit the upscale, lo loading up with several bags filled with merch. He's not a billionaire anymore, but the spree is a reminder he's still rich. <laughs> <laughs> that was a complete stab at his financial wealth. Why, why don't people just leave black people alone? Like, 
I have no clue. Just leave them alone. They don't want no parts of you. <laughs> oh man, this is so freaking ridiculous, dude. I, I I I think more than more than not, just being able to see people and how people kind of react in certain circumstances, it kind of shows where they are and who they are and what they're to be. So I know that I know um con easy to the easy I, I i just hope that things are going well for him you know like, it's a lot of stuff going on here he is so if you can see this uh let's kind of unpack where con easy is right now and see what you know see if we can kind of relate now this flag that he has on here this reminds me of the albanian flag good old albania there's nothing like albanians man they're they're the cream of the earth uh they're very um peaceful people inside their country you got to go to see albania but as i look at the shirt it's it's really saying something man and um if you go there to Albania, you can most definitely see those double-headed horns that you see right there. Yeah, uh, the Albanian flag, uh, I think it represents, and if I'm wrong, please, Albanians, correct me down in the comments, that this is um, uh, a flag that has come over from the Roman Empire. And also Rome, they uh, got it from Greece, and Greece got it from Egypt. So let's remember that roaming flag uh, was to represent a lot of things, but I'm going to leave that to the imagination uh, and hopefully we can all um, find our, shoot, find our sections with theirs, you know? So, but that's what Kanye West is wearing for today. That was real interesting, buddy. Give a little hand clap. Oh, Kanye, easy, man. It's real greasy out here, man, in these streets. It's good to see Kanye out, though, man, because I, you know, I was really um putting out prayers for him. Ah, uh, shoot. But the media is calling use before the Nazi adapted swastika. Oh my God, <laughs> that's an Albanian flag. That's not a swastika. What the heck are these people doing to this man? Oh my God! This the okay. It's a little bit too much. That's that's the Albanian flag. That's not a swastika by any means. I don't know who's who's doing that. You can just Google the image, and Albania will come up. Like, <laughs> just take your phone and just put that on there, and you can see most definitely that that's the Albanian flag. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with no swastika. So. People are out there to get him, and rightfully so. He's, I guess he said some harmful things to people, and people are still, you know, bunched up in their, in their drawers. <laughs> oh, man, Britney, Britney Spears, man. You see lovely Britney over there? Give a hand clap for Brit Brit. Britney is doing her thing, man. You see Britney, she's the kind of iconic artist that you don't seem to get rid of. She's just, she's just, she's this there like always there like i'm really with britney man but it's it's a shame to be able to see how she is now oh man she, i don't know if this is an attempt to become famous in the time when you haven't like put out a super rock song or anything or is she really going through like like problems in her life you know what i mean like you you don't know but britney spears annoyed by fans calling her for a welfare check after Instagram disappears. Oh, no, man. People kind of get upset when Britney is not around, but I don't think she's having a mental health issue. I think her husband is kind of probably putting the foot down. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's funny. When, when Instagram start disappearing, there's a man involved, you know? That's, you know, because girls like to show their faces off. They get them all like, you know, dolled up and things like that. So she most definitely wants a place to show her face. So <laughs> I don't think that was her decision. And I know most definitely don't think she needs a welfare check. <laughs> I don't think she's Britney's doing well, just alone. She's going to pop up probably in six months with the 
best new album, the best records, uh, you know, with all kinds of mental peace that she has. <laughs> She'll be okay. You just you just stick in there with Brit Brit. Oh, so I, I think she'll be okay. I, I don't know about you, family, but I think she'll be okay. There's also one more story out here. It's my man, my man. This guy up here, dude. He's paying a lot to stay healthy. I mean, this man right here, he's a middle-aged man. He's a tech guy. You know what I mean? So all the tech guys out there, peace to you, you know? This man says he pays $2 million a year to keep his bod looking like he's 18. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by some of the features that this man has and if he's getting older than what he says, but they're calling him the Benjamin Button. Oh, man, I don't know, brother, if you're going to get that Benjamin Button label from me. I don't know, man, but I can most definitely see that um, uh, that you want to, but it looks like you're going the other way, bro. If you want $2 million, you might as well just share it with all the black people you know. You don't have to. You don't have to spend it on $2 million of supplements and things of that nature. <laughs> Let's get into the story and see where why he's paying $2 million to look like he's 18. He doesn't look 18 mean to me. I don't, it's fleeting, brother. It's fleeting. You might not want to pay $2 million. You might just want to just go to Brazil or go to, you know, go away to like an island and just live there. You don't have to pay all these people, bro. You you doing too much. You listen to them too much, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Benjamin Button got nothing on this guy. A software developer. Man, he's in his 40s and claim he's aging backwards. I don't know about that. <laughs> but the catch is that he cost him about seven figures to actually do this stuff. <laughs> oh, his name is Brian Johnson. I swear to God, if he was in the hood, that's a hood name, bro. I don't. He sounds like he's from um, 60th and Crenshaw. That's what he sounds like to me. I'm. I, I don't know. I can't call it. Brian Johnson. I, I know a couple of Brian Johnsons, and they're not paying two million dollars. I got that right. Hey, they're not doing that, brother. Says his biohack is costing him $2 million per year. And with a team of 30 doctors, not 20, not 15, but 30. <laughs> he maintains a strict regimen, which apparently gives him a heart of a 37-year-old man and skin of a 27-year-old and he fitness of an 18-year-old. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but in these pictures, he does look kind of built up, man. I, it, you, you got to see some of these pictures, dude. I, I, yeah. Let me see if I can share, share this so you can see, see, see this, man. See, see what he got going on here. Here we go. Hold on just a second. See if I can share it. Boom. There we go. Do you see him? Yeah, you see it. So you can tell some of the muscle physique, but you can get that by taking, uh, uh, you know, illegal steroids. <laughs> Why you need two million of it, bro? I, come on. Okay, got a little abs, got a little pecs. Okay, dog, I see you. I see you. <laughs> so okay, but that ain't no two million dollars worth of like pecs, and you know what I mean. <laughs> If you're gonna get your pecs, homie, like get like go to plastic surgery or something. I don't I don't know. It's two million dollars worth. I guess some people they're really trying to force this whole thing with this money thing. Like money's no object. I can put it on me. It's the most narcissistic thing that you possibly can do is spend two million dollars on your own on one body, on one damn body. When there's like in downtown LA, there's all of these homeless people chilling out. Even if they got like a quarter of it, <laughs> bruh, you could feed like a whole village with $2 million. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Subsidies. Just pass it on down. Just 
Cornbread, pass it, bro. That's has it down, bro. Uh, but his routine is real interesting too, man. He wakes up at 5 a.m. He does about a uh, two dozen supplements. So uh, I guess that's where he's getting his you know physique from. God bless him. <laughs> Following a vegan diet, a high intensity exercise, and he goes to bed every night about the same time. <laughs> he's not getting any nookie. I'm going to pray for Mr. Brian. He has all these doctors doing blood tests. It's almost like he's a freak of nature, dude. It's like he's like, he's trying to like figure out the fountain of youth. And like, he, he, you know, he wants a new kidney, new liver. Like he's regenerating his organs. And I'm glad he told everybody like the what to do, you know, do these, you know, dozen, two dozen supplements a day. And I've been telling people that for a long time, but they, they ain't listening to me. It is what it is, man. Get in your cold shower bath and turn into, a, you know, Benjamin Button your whole life. You know, stop that aging process as much as you possibly can and do it into that cold shower. That cold shower really does a real good for your body. It makes you think when you came out of the womb, everything was cold. Yeah, because, you know, you do it for so long, you got a baby face. You know, a little, little baby face. It's real good to have a baby face, too, because you got to understand that we as humans we most definitely i think they say that aging is a you know is like one of the deadly sins that humans do it's like it's ah. <laughs> oh man this has been a lovely show man um hopefully you are you enjoyed it and all the things come to you but the ending of the show is going to be interesting i want everybody to focus on the knowledge of self get the knowledge of self self-esteem helps you to leave alone that narcissistic personality that is induced from a society that makes an individual more important than the whole. <laughs> oh man, there's no other place on the planet earth that narcissistic personalities can thrive other than here. That's why a lot of people don't want to leave here. <laughs> it builds it. Your art, your music artists are, are narcissistic. <laughs> Your teachers, your professors, your, you know, your business owners. It's like a playground for like a mental disorder, dog. Like, look, we just read about Brian Johnson, how he like Benjamin Button. Two million dollars on one body. Let me just leave that there. Uh, but most definitely, he needs knowledge of self, and everyone else does too, man. Hopefully, it can enrich your life and be a better human being at the end of this whole thing. Uh, blessings to you, and if you listen to me for this long, uh, you mean more to me than, you know, than flowers and daisies, you know what I mean? I love you in a special way. Have a wonderful, peaceful, and productive day, and if you hear my voice in the meantime, I'll be there with you. See you later. Alligator.